All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. This is a special meeting of the Downers Grove Grade School District 58 Board of Education, Monday, February 4th, 2019, at 7 p.m. at uh, Longfellow oh, Center. Sorry about that. Uh, Melissa, please call roll. Member Joshi. Here. Member Harris. Here. Member Hughes. Here. Member Miller. Here. Member Samanti. Here. Member Siegel. Here. Member Purcell. Here. So tonight we're uh, here to talk about the superintendent search. We have BWP, and I will turn it over. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you for selecting us. We're going to work really hard for you. We already have because we have a really nice turnout of, of applicants already in like 10 days or so, so we're, we're going to have 26. 26 applications today. Okay. Really, really wow. good. Really, really good. So we feel honored. Um, we want to just refresh your memory a little bit about us and introduce Sheila. Sheila wasn't with us the last time we were here, mm -hmm. and she was, she was leading the superintendents of the state of Illinois <laughs> somewhere, but <laughs> <laughs> she's found her way back. Yes, I'm back. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Sheila Harrison-Williams. I... I hope Mark gave me a great introduction <laughs> um, when I wasn't here, but I'm currently superintendent of schools in East Crest, 30 miles south of Chicago. I am retiring at the end of this school year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I've been doing this work for about 18 years, been working with, as a superintendent for about 18 years, and working with BWP since 2011. I've participated in uh, nearly about close to, what, 15 16, 20 searches or so, you know, so I've, I've got some experience um, conducting uh, superintendent searches. I'm also a neighbor. I live in Woodridge, Illinois, so I'm very excited about uh, being so close to home and to help out um, a neighboring district. And she would never let us forgive her. No. She would never forgive us if we had a neighbor district search and I she was I have so far. <laughs> <laughs> so far, but this is a neighborhood, so this is great. I'm sh pretty sure what Mark said to them was you were in Florida. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, enjoy yourself. Yourself. <laughs> it was a good week to be in Florida. Yes, it was. Absolutely. And I don't remember if we said the last time, but uh, Sheila currently is the uh, president of the Illinois Association of School Administrators, which is the state superintendents association. Mm -hmm. So she is the leader of all superintendents in, in Illinois. Too much pressure. Mm -hmm. No one yeah, overdo that. Uh, Dawn Green, again, uh, so what they uh, make up for my lack of experience because this is my uh, third district I've been to. So and I'm really excited to be here again. I'm also retiring with uh, Sheila at the end of the school year from Palos Heights. Um, I just uh, live a little bit south in New Lenox, but um, know a lot of people that are super interested in this district and all the good things that you've been doing. So I'm excited to be part of the search. And again, Mark Friedman. Uh, President of BWP, done over 100 searches. Look forward to working. We've had great conversations with Doug, set everything up. And we don't worry about a lot of things. We worry about getting the right candidate. And so a lot of little things, a lot of details. We'll work those out tonight. We'll get our dates set. We'll, we'll get you to, to look at your calendar. And thank you, Carrie, for pointing out some good and bad dates for all of you. And then when you walk out tonight, we'll have all of our calendar stuff in place, and we'll continue on with our recruitment. We're, we're extremely pleased, uh, truly, at this early stage with the response that we have. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're, I was shocked because it was under 20 the other day, so mm -hmm. it's, it's really picked up. Yeah, I, I think we're going to double that quickly because sub AAASA is coming up in a couple of weeks. We'll be out in L.A. and we'll be like, really recruiting hard. The National Conference is coming, coming up next week, and we will be there. And, and we have a little booth set up to interview people that are interested mm -hmm. from out of state or, or locally. So we feel really good. I think we're off to a great start. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to walk you through uh, some questions, a probe. And this won't take the whole night. We won't go into closed session. We're just going to talk freely amongst ourselves because we really want to narrow down some dates. We'll explain each aspect of this. I know several of you have not had an opportunity 
to be their superintendent search. So we'll help you along those lines and, and also help your administrative team. And then um, we'll pick up everything after that and, and work with Melissa and, and with Carrie to uh, finalize all the little details. And so far things have gone very smoothly. We anticipate the same way. So we have a little document that we'd like to share with you. Now, I'm on the end. I can just walk through here. just take the whole thing and send it down but unfortunately we may have to do a little sharing because somehow or another I'm not sure we have any, we have enough for all the school board members but we weren't sure what the audience would be like so we're a little tight here no, we're, we're good we're good so that's the first part the second part is looking at a calendar. So these are the things that we're going to go through tonight. The calendar piece, which I have dozens of copies. Yeah, that's right. We'll actually get you to do some work. So number one, as Don passes that out, number one on our agenda is an introduction of us, which we've done. Any questions? Steve is still with us. Steve responded to us here last week. He's in Italy this week, <laughs> and that's that's a true retiree. Some work, some aren't. They're going to join the retirement club and find that out. So he's very much still active in this search. So the, an overview of the search process really quite simply is we're actually starting tonight with the contact with you, even though we've had multiple contacts behind the scenes and done a lot of background stuff. What we're looking to do tonight is just finalize it so that you're all on that same page, so that everybody has the same information. It's really critical. The process starts with us going through all the, little, all the elements in this search, and then ends with us solidifying our dates for the important pieces of this search. And, and that comes to the end. I was toying with the idea, and I almost called both of you to see if you thought it might be better if we started backwards and looked at your calendars and, and preserved them. But we won't interrupt anything on your calendar before then, so I think we're okay walking through these things one at a time. The third item is the need for confidentiality. Open versus closed search. And this is where... We have some recommendations, but we'd like to hear your opinions on that. So an open search means that we have to tell the candidates that at some stage of this process, their names will be made public. Either you're going to invite them to tour the district and people will see them, or their name, you're going to talk about their names. Um, this will limit your pool, we'll probably, you'd probably have a third dropout right away if, if that happens. The confidential search requires us to not share the names of the candidates. You will see them when the time comes for you to start to interview and you'll get all their information. But there's a lot of reasons for that. I, you want to help me out sure. on this? Sure. Um, one of the, the main reasons is and I, and I looked at the applications today, so you do have some sitting superintendents that are applying um, for this position. And they're currently, they're not running, they're in jobs where they're, they're happy, but they're looking for a change, either a step up, more of a challenge. Um, and they're not, it's, it's, they're happy, if I'm saying this, they're okay with where they are. But once they put themselves out there to become a part of the search, and their name gets out, and then their board finds out. You know, a board superintendent relationship is like a marriage. You're cheating on me, and I don't like it. So if you don't get the job, and you have to go back to your old your old school board, then we got, we may have a problem. Then they may have a problem with their their security and their job. Mm -hmm. And so for those reasons, we try to keep it very confidential for city superintendents, and even some assistant suits, depending on the district and the relationship that they have there in their school system. So it, it's, it's critical, you know. It's a search for us, trying to find a great uh, candidate, but it's their livelihood and their life that we're talking about. 
And I think most people would have some communication with like their board president. Hey, I just want to let you know I'm throwing my hat in the ring for this. But but for it to get out when they're just at that stage of you know, I, I, I'm applying or I'm maybe one of six candidates being interviewed. Um, you know, the, the likelihood, you know, that I've got a 20% chance of, of, of getting it. So they might not want those um, with their with their people, you know, in the school or their constituents, community. So um, that, that does seem to be a very important um, issue for people. Yeah, do you want to do anything that limits your opportunity to see all the candidates? Probably not. You, you want to make the choice. You don't want that choice taken from you. So we recommend confidential searches. Almost every one we've done this year are confidential. Doesn't mean that at the end of the process there can't be some openness. But we do it with uh, the agreement of the candidate. So that's a, that's a piece that we'd like to get a little bit of a sense from you on. Are you good with the confidential search or do you really feel that this has to be wide open and whatever people drop out, they drop out? But, you know, people know that when you become, if it's between you and someone else, you're the finalist, they know confidentiality at that point is out the window because you have to make phone calls. We have to do a vetting. We, you have to have uh, conversations with uh, maybe board members or their supervisor or whomever so they realize that, you know, when I'm down to just the two of us, mm -hmm. then we know confidentiality is at the window. But like she said, um, if you're just one of six, you know, that's a little... Right. Okay. The districts that do have open searches, what's the rationale for going about that approach? I don't know, really. <laughs> we haven't seen, we really haven't seen. It used to be the way to go. It's sort of like things trend in different directions. Mm -hmm. The trend now is confidential because we've had many people tell us that if this is an open search, my name is, is, is released. I'm going to withdraw. Mm -hmm. I can't afford to have my home district find out about it. And if I don't get the job, right. they're going to think I don't like it here or I'm not turning my back on you. Right. And it's like any, it, it's not just in education, it's, it's in any way you take a risk when you, in a public space in particular, look at something other than your current job. So that's that's really we help. It helps us protect the, the pool of candidates. I think maybe I mean transparency obviously is a right. big word, and so it's open. It's more transparent. But I think we've all probably seen articles in the paper where you know here's our finalist candidates. Well, one of them isn't going to get it, and if that's a sitting superintendent or assistant or wherever, it does make it a little difficult. Well, I think I've, I've spoken it, spoke about it with a couple of you individually, but we haven't talked about it here. My preference in our search is to, I think we, we would agree, we mostly would agree that I think we're looking for a, a superintendent, somebody who's already a superintendent. Of course, we're looking for a superintendent. We're looking yeah. for somebody who has a superintendent <laughs> experience. Yeah. 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 Um, and so I completely understand the, the, um, the need to protect that relationship with the, the mm -hmm. soup and the board because. We're not going to get the best right. talent in our pool if um, they think they're going to get burned. Mm -hmm. Any other just, thoughts? Just, uh, the way that it's phrased here, open versus closed, makes it seem binary. Like It's either all open or it's all closed, and it almost seems like that's never the case. Right. Um, one of the biggest things that's important for me, and I don't think I've shared this, is uh, we do want a lot of input and engagement from stakeholders that are not sitting up here. Mm -hmm. And to be able to get that, uh, the w when we say closed, it seems like that feedback isn't important. And I don't, I'm not, that's not what I'm hearing you say. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. totally different. And that's where you're going to show your transparency to your community because we're going to get there. I think it's on our calendar, yeah. on, yeah. Our, on yeah. our schedule. We talk about nine, yeah. what we're going to do. So we'll show you at that point. Um, how we're going to involve those stakeholders in this process so no one will be left out. And in that regard, it will be transparent. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll say but that's a good question. question. Yep, 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 yep. 
I think we got some critical work to be done in this district, and I think you made a very strong point for why we'd want to really have a, every opportunity to see a, a sitting superintendent, mm -hmm. and that to me would be very important. It did, I mean, you referenced that you could have a third of those people mm -hmm. drop out. Sure. Um, and I'd, I'd hate to see us lose the best and the brightest if we can do something through a little bit of confidentiality up front. Obviously, then focusing really on making sure we get a lot of input, you know, through our surveying process and the community engagement process. Absolutely. But anything, we got a lot of work to get done, and um, and we're in a kind of a critical place in our strategic plan. So, mm -hmm. getting some people that already got their feet wet in the role, I think, would be really, really important to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Else? We agree on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know of a job where you do let out the candidates. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> right. Well, there was a period when everything was so open and mm -hmm. so transparent that everybody knew everybody else's business. Yeah. I mean, we don't list the applicants for any other positions. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, I've never hired somebody in a, where I work or anywhere because, yeah, it takes their livelihood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. We're good. Okay. We're good with that. Yeah, okay. We agree with that. Okay. The uh, the next item is our search timeline, and we pass that out to you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of check off a bunch of those things pretty quickly. So the first several items are already done, mm -hmm. and um, now we're at that point where we'd like to begin. Uh, looking at the stakeholder survey, launching our stakeholder survey that's the week of February 11th, that will be next week. Mm -hmm. We use a third party from South Carolina. We don't want anyone to say, you guys played with the survey results. So we have a third party that does it, sends us back the results, and we then give them to you. We don't monkey with them. Yeah, we have more copies. Yeah, I have a couple more copies. Oh, yeah. that's what she's running to do. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. We got me. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Oh, he is running. Sorry. These are all. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Sorry. <about> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> so we'd like to set that up for February 11th. We'd like to run it. For a week, two weeks, one week, two weeks, what do you think? How long would you like it? And then we'll work with your um, communications person to get that going. Mm -hmm. To me, it's about what the window, I think, and, and make sure everybody knows, is aware in our, in our, in our community when it's when it's opening, when it's closing. Mm -hmm. Whatever you, I would say, whatever you think is the best, mm -hmm. right. the best to keep to keep consistent with our our timeline. What were the windows for our most recent surveys? We just ran two in the last seven weeks. What was the time period to those? Megan? Um, the school environment survey was about a month and a half. Um, it was open, and then the parent partnership survey was about two weeks. And I don't know if you know, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but responses were mainly at the front end and at the back end, I imagine, or yeah, all front loaded? We actually have it right, up, um, right now, but uh, I don't know about the parent partnership survey. I didn't Surveys statistically are always that way, so mm -hmm. I agree with Greg. Where if you communicate the window, people will either come on the front end or the back end of it. Mm -hmm. um, we I like typically the idea. do a week to ten days, but we can make it longer. A week to Length, ten days. Yeah. 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 Length yeah. is less important as making sure it just reaches yeah. the yeah. folks. Yeah, I think that. And what about the language? Yeah, and we will offer it in Spanish also mm -hmm. if you want. Okay. Yeah, we yes. I think that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. so, so, 10 days? 10 days. Okay. okay. I you. <laughs> so, we would don't leave tonight without us talking to Stephen. Because you handle the communication. Okay. It's very simple for you, too. <laughs> but we do rely on district staff to help us. We don't have access to some of these things. And, Absolutely. and it's been very open here, so that's great. So you just put the link on your website and send information out to mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. everybody that is there. Yeah. Okay. So the next item is our stakeholder meetings and individual meetings <coughs> with board members. So basically what we do is we bring our whole <coughs> team, there should be four of us, and um, we get a lot done. We work with the subgroups that we set up and we try to agree with agree on them tonight so we know who we're looking at. And then uh, we'll come in in the afternoon, early afternoon, two or three, whatever, because again, with four people, we get it all done. We'll then have open community meetings a little later. We will work with the subgroups that we identify and we'll throw some out at you. You may want to add a few more to it. And uh, you know, I know you have an election and we thought and talked with Doug that we would be more than happy to have a subgroup of people who were uh, intending to run in the upcoming election and give them a voice. So um, that could be one subgroup. Okay. So the typical ones, if we want to start screening, mm -hmm. yep. we would we'd have a subgroup made up of the Central Office Administration, the second one of Building Administration, two separate administrative groups. We generally would have, and I think, Carrie, did we talk about the PTO, PTA leadership, mm -hmm. and however that structure is structured so different in every district. But there's usually a core group of people, and we like to give them a separate opportunity to mm -hmm. give us feedback. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's a, there's a PTA council, and that is comprised of all of the... All, each presidents. school's PTA has presidents, and usually it's the president and the vice president who, mm -hmm. who both will come to that meeting. Okay. So if we extend that invitation that way, yeah, great. Hope you know, yeah, mm -hmm. we get half. That would be great. Yeah, okay. Just because we invite people to these doesn't mean they come. We want to be honest, yeah. Yeah. especially the open community meetings. Mm -hmm. Since the advent of the online survey, the attendance at open community meetings has gone <laughs> way down. We were, we were working. We were working right, kind of next door in, in Hinsdale last year, in District 21, and, and Hinsdale had a couple of uh, controversial things going on. And oh, let's prepare and let's get the gyms ready. So we ran two. We had two two people attended one, and three people attended the second. And it just and it just kind of how we see it today. They love doing an online survey. People don't like coming out. So let's we're going to offer it anyway. We will make it available. Do you want to separate teachers and staff? Also, uh, yeah. Yeah, the say youth union, your union leadership, or your union teacher. We generally right? like to give the leadership of your association a separate subgroup, mm -hmm. three, four people, whatever, and whoever is in that leadership role. Mm -hmm. Then we have open meetings for teachers. We'll probably have two at the same time. Mm -hmm. association, yeah, whatever. I don't know how they're the association, association. Mm -hmm. yeah. all of them. Yeah. 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 How, are you wall to wall? Are you? Because sometimes separate? you have a separate union for <coughs> your um, so professionals. Yeah, we have three union groups. We have three. Yeah, three mm -hmm. free union groups. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we might want to look at a more efficient way of dealing with that, but. We can, we can talk about that, whether we want to offer the leadership altogether, mm -hmm. or if you feel they have to be separated, we can do that too. Do you have an opinion, Craig? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think probably together would, would be fine. We, we usually uh, okay. work well together. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, right right now I'm the DGE and the teacher. Oh, uh, perfect. perfect. Well, you yeah. that ask. There you go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. And we'll, we'll, we'll coordinate efforts with the other two. Uh, and generally we see that in other districts too where yeah. we offer that for the leadership of all the yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. And then a separate one for teachers. Yeah. And then we would have after school, we could have two in two different places. Be great. I'll be really honest again, I know you think everyone will come, but if it's after school, you're combating master's degree classes, sports and coaching, going oh. home to pick up. You're talking about for the teachers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're looking at a separate group for other than the union leadership mark? With, you know, yeah. We, what we could do if the board wanted and we have enough facilitators, we can do one at each of the middle schools. That way there's plenty of space. Mm -hmm. I think our 
staff, teachers are accustomed to meeting there in a larger kind of setting. I'm just going to say we're yeah, that way it's kind of south side, yeah. north side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but so people we can go to whichever open one. meetings for teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's right after school. On the same day, are you thinking? Yes, like everything on the same day. On all on the same day. Use our person time. power to yeah. accomplish mm -hmm. everything. That way you get a focus on it. You can get blasts of information out. This is the day. Everyone will, you know, the team will be here. Here to listen to your input. Right. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you probably want four. Well, then we meeting. offer two things. So... We're here. We have this whole team. We're, we're more than well willing to do one-on-one -on -one board member interviews for 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and uh, in person. Or if people feel they'd much rather do a phone interview, we'll do a phone interview. It doesn't have to be that day. It can be at your convenience. So if work gets in the way and you want to have a convenient conference call, we'll set it up whenever time it's convenient for you. But that block of time, say from 4.30 until 6 or 6.30, when we have uh, open community meetings, mm -hmm. we could be meeting individual with board members if you so choose. And we, again, work on the schedule with, with your staff to help us and carry offer that. So we'll take you up on it. Then we would have one or two depends. Generally, I'm just going off the top. Generally, one for this type of district would probably be sufficient in one of the middle schools. Mm -hmm. if, if 50 people come, that's great. We're used to it. We can we can handle big crap. If you think more, and we think we need to have multiples, we'll do two. But Can you talk about community at this point. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Open meeting, open in agenda. Mm -hmm. Would that be a in terms of order of operation, that would be after this Mega Tuesday date or Mega whatever date date is. Same day. Everything that day. Everything that day. Oh, it'd be all that same day, yeah. including the community engagement date. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And if we did a community engagement event at one of the schools, say one of the middle schools, would mm -hmm. all four of your team members be there? So if the crowd did get to be a hundred yes. people, yeah. we could that just break into break yeah. groups of twenty-five. Yes. And yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have to. We have to <coughs> find. Um, an Italian interpreter to get us to make sure Steve's a male on the day of us but we're there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it worked. <laughs> and if he is, if we do have Glenn Schlinger, cool, we'll work with us. So okay. we'll, we're in very good shape with personnel. I think that was the important part. All of the experience and all know what to do. Mm -hmm. So those would be pretty much, did I miss any of the groups? Oh, well, we talked about board candidates. Yeah, so and that's a report so candidate pool. Yeah. So we could do same that day, either the same day or a phone interview yeah. as well. Yeah. And we're not sure if you have um, special groups in your community that may want to be a part of this that you would like for us to interview. Is there anybody we missed? There's a couple of councils we may want to just tap into. I know that um, we have a superintendent's community advisory council, so that group is a group of pretty active parents who have been involved in a regular basis um, in meeting and kind of reviewing some of what the district is doing. So it may just be a nice group to, to yeah, elicit some additional parents, hey, kind of like that PTA council. Yeah. So um, they will be a part of that group. Uh, so there's some overlap there. I'm trying to, Tracy, you might know too. There's there's some overlap there, but um, no, it's not it's not really the same people. Okay. So we may, you may want to, or you may want to. I just don't want to offend anyone, you know. You don't want to leave anyone out and mm -hmm. what they didn't ask But it gets to a point where we've got the bigger task and mm -hmm. we try and make sure we get everybody. I know we, we talked about I including those <coughs> people who have expressed interest in the seats on the board. And mm -hmm. So that we yes, can cover. Sure. This, other, this other group, we can play with this at the end and yeah. determine if we want to include them. Send them a special invitation to come to that. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. usually, the invitation does help. Mm -hmm. And that's why a communication plan, and we, yes. we've got all kinds of ideas on how to do that. Every, every community is a little bit different in how they get information mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, if you get a nice night, and there's no competition, <laughs> no Super Bowl or anything. <laughs> you can get a few people out. Big crowds, those are days past. You just don't see it anymore. What was the other group? Uh, the Community Advisory Council was the group I was mentioning. Are there other groups that we can think of that we should especially invite? 
Is the community advisory different from the superintendent advisory? It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah okay. sorry. Yeah. I just dropped the superintendent All right. part, of, <laughs> part of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we do have board committees, and so we may just want to especially right. invite those members. It could be a communication. The they, they don't need a special event. I don't think event, every committee think. needs a okay. here's, here's the, the stat answer for anyone that says, oh, I'd love to come. I'd love to be part of it, but I'm busy and at work. Survey. Thank you. Yeah, take yeah. the Thank survey. Thank you, Joey. Sure. Be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, anybody that wants to come to the community, you can come to the community. Right, absolutely. Yes. So, absolutely. It, so nobody community. should be felt left out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will have a very strong presence with that's one of the things that we do best is we bring a lot of people to make sure everyone gets heard. So we, we have those running for the board, mm -hmm. central office, building administration, PTA council, union leadership, all three union groups together, after school teachers at two, the two middle schools, mm -hmm. um, board member inter individual interviews, either in person or on the phone, um, open community meeting, and then we would invite the superintendent advisory council specifically to. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure we're using the, the, the term teacher as a catch all. That includes staff. Yeah. I would say staff. staff. Yeah, yeah, support staff. Yeah, yeah. Support staff. Yeah. Staff. Yeah. Certified, yeah. Certified, yeah. Certified, yeah. Certified, yeah. certified. Faculty and staff. Yeah. Anybody, yeah. anybody yeah. who wants. Mm -hmm. We will. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Great. So that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> how, about how long do these uh, sessions typically go? 30 oh, 30 minutes. That's fine. Okay. 30 minutes, and they all get the same questions. <coughs> and um, Mark, is it, is it okay? We go yeah, too short. Yeah. We asked about what's going well here in uh, Dallas Grove 58. We want to know what's so <coughs> great about your school district from their points of view. Then we want to know uh, what are the challenges that you're facing or dealing with here working in this district. And then we ask, what are you looking for in your next superintendent? What is it that you would like to see? What are some of those um, <coughs> um, characteristics that the new superintendent needs to have? And then the final question is, is there anything that we did not ask you that you would like the board to consider <coughs> when they're making their final selection for the superintendent? And those could be anything from they need to have a doctorate or they need to live in our community. I've heard so many different things. They need to, you know, what do you want besides the credentials and the experience that matches your school district? So, and those are the four guiding questions that we ask everyone. So everyone gets the same questions, whether it's an individual interview or whether it's a small group or whether it's a large group, which is for our forum. It's the same topics, the same questions. And we literally take notes and we write down everything that we hear and then we come back together and we pull those notes and we develop our profile from there. Can I ask you a question about that last part of the process? Sure. What's said is part of the uh, feedback that I'm interested in. Where it's coming from is also like helpful. Mm -hmm. um, when I say where it's coming from, which, which, which group of people is saying that this is important? Because then that adds more color to why that feedback is coming. Uh, I'm interested in just understanding, I understand confidentiality is very important, and I, uh, even from the feedback perspective, I think that's also to be respected. Um, but if, if a uh, PTA council says something versus when a some children administrator says something, they mean different things just because of their position in the community or the position in the district. Mm -hmm. And just because it sounds like it said the same thing, where it comes from really helps me understand which groups are going to be interested in a particular type of profile and this helps me think through when I'm interviewing these candidates, uh, how, to, how, how to represent them well. Help me, give me your thought from your experience on how to keep the confidentiality of those people in place while knowing the context of the feedback we're hearing. Mm -hmm. Well, we basically, we don't customize our survey. We have a, a standard survey. The survey has a breakdown, a checkbox as to who is taking that survey. Are you a parent? Are you a resident without children? All those things, but it does not break down those subcategories into how they answer the questions. So the, question, the responses are all grouped together, but we know what type of respondents there really are. So it, it's just not that specific. But you were talking about the type of community events, right? Yeah, I think so. And when we do the interviews and the forums and the small groups, 
that information, as I said, we take notes on what you say and we come back and we pull that. So what we do is we look for commonalities. Okay. And the commonalities are the ones that get reported. I see. The outliers, if, if, if we got one person saying something that's way over here, but you got four of your other groups, they're, they're saying the same thing, that becomes part of the profile. Does it make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. So it's not, so we don't, so, and it goes back to even with confidentiality, like you said, you don't want to, you don't want to break with that and, and say, oh, well, this group, so we don't want that either. So we want to come back and speak in yeah, one voice the risk of that. from for, the community. Thanks for, thanks for helping me make mm-hmm. sense of it. Okay. But those are all good questions because yes. not seeing it, not having it in front of you, it's like, how does this work? Right. All that. So in the, in the profile, as Sheila was saying, we merged the results of both the online and the in-person and come out with a final profile. And that's editorializing. That's us reviewing notes. And as Sheila said, we look for the commonalities across the board. Those are the things you're going to want to hear. Not what one person said or another person over there. We want to see it repeated. And that gives us a cue as to, okay, this has to be included in your information. And then you use the profile, so I'm understanding, and your expertise to then help to develop that short list, right? And that's right. really yes. what right. all this input does is it really helps to screen and identify who the top candidates are before we even are looking at them, that this is the lens through which you're filtering. Yes. And you will use it when you get the names from us. You will have that document right there with you as you walk through their interviews you'll be able to then look back at that survey and say, oh yeah, this person does really hit all the, check all the boxes. So they work hand in hand. That's why we don't like to send it out and let it sit for a month and never get seen. We like to hand it out right when we're ready to have you start interviewing. It really works much, much better that way. You have a picture of the person's involved. I actually, we heard tonight some expression of certain type of person, someone with some experience, someone who knows the area. We're, you know, those are the kinds of things. That's all going to come out in the survey. It's going to really help you. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Okay? Yep. So, the next thing is picking a bit. <laughs> so, we talked a little bit about <laughs> dates to stay away from. We had that conversation and I talked with Carrie the other day. We looked at our calendars and we were looking for the date like the 21st possible. We'd normally be here next week, but we're out at that big conference and it's in your best interest that we be there because that's where we'll see <laughs> candidates. I, I have found that that is the day that our school board was in. Some of us were meeting with the GGA executive board, mm-hmm. so I think we would just have to make sure that we oh, worked around, around yeah. coordinated that. Okay. But presumably, a number of us have our dates free for that block of time. Oh, that's, that's even better. better. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that because it reduces the pull on mm-hmm. on the leadership of that board. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I, I don't know whether it's better or worse. I mean, it's an added commitment. Uh, that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we, <laughs> are we talking about doing both in the same day or just sort of... They could be doing both in the same doing day. Doing both in the same day. Maybe moving the location of one of them so that there's 25... We'll just be jumping in and out. Yeah. Right. Mark, did the 20th what? not work for your schedule? Because that, that was the... That was one of the dates you gave, yeah. Okay. Which day? The 20th instead of the 21st? Well, let's see what... Right, I don't know if it's better or worse. It could be the backup loops. Yeah. It's on yours. Does the 20th work better? Well, it, the conflict is the event on the 21st that draws our union leadership, our central office team, and several board members uh, for an afternoon event from uh, about 3.30 till 6 That's the exact board um, and the board representatives and the ASCT. We didn't come up with a really good name. It's the Nani's event? Yeah, exactly. It's actually not at Nani's. Uh, yeah, and I, I, mean, I, I would have to think about it, but I, I think, you know, we're, there's probably going to be some carry over there anyway as far as the conversation goes. I think this is a, kind of a hot topic in a lot of our minds right now. So um, that, that discussion, the Nani's discussion, might have some of those. Same I think I'd want the Nani's discussion to be after so everybody would have a chance to 
share first, but that we can work through. I, I mean, yeah, we can. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll Mark, were you were you saying the twentieth is fine? We can do the twentieth. So if you do the twentieth, then yeah, the. Yeah, then it's just the legislative committee meeting that doesn't affect that. Many people. No, we can. So yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's fine for a different day. This is always. Yeah. Okay. So the twentieth. Twentieth. And your start time, just as we build up the so two, back to a point two, two is generally the start. So okay, we usually yeah. start with district level administrators. Mm -hmm. Still these folks here, sure. and, yeah. and there's still a few others who, you know, before the after school activities That'd keep going. That'll be great. We'll let you schedule that for us. <laughs> <laughs> and is that, I'm sorry, is that on the same day, are you going to be doing individual meetings with board members? Yes. Mm -hmm. After 2 o'clock? Mm -hmm. We can interview yeah, well, you guys if you yeah. want to do it before, okay. if you, you know, yeah. whatever you, whatever makes okay. best for you. <coughs> you can go and or you can do a follow. 3 a.m. it is. Yeah. She said whatever. <laughs> 3 a.m. Yeah. Well, well, thanks, <laughs> but uh, you can do that one. No, <laughs> no yeah, I agree. <laughs> If it, I mean, it's an all-day thing anyway, so before and after work, I, I'm guessing. Cause, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I can't yeah. come at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on that day, but well, I could come at 7 in the morning or I could come at 5 at yeah. night. Send that, a, mm -hmm. send that as a, a schedule with some blanks and fill in. And <coughs> and I can think about that. that. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So the 20th it is. Cool. And then um, we're still recruiting. And if it keeps up this way, we're, we're really we're happy right now. Mm -hmm. So we have no uh, issue as far as just how long it, it, or how short it is. Um, we're going to screen at the end of February, and then we're going to bring you up to uh, the week of probably March fourth. Mm -hmm. I think the twenty fifth might be a little rushed. Mm -hmm. So the week of March 4th, we, we list here as meeting with us. We'll pick a date during that week that's convenient. and have a special board meeting. It's a closed session because we're going to then discuss the candidates. Our intent is to bring you four to six. We're probably the way it's looking now, probably going to bring you six. Unless you refine down the qualifications and eliminate a couple people, we're definitely going to be at six. Mm -hmm. But if you refine it further, then we could be at four to four or five. And we get that both, both ways. Mm -hmm. So that will come as the process unfolds. And then we need you to get your calendars out. And you don't have to do that now. I mean, you can do that, Doug and Carrie, can engage everybody in an exercise online. Maybe Melissa can send something yeah, out. But the week of March 11th, we're not involved in these next steps. It's all up to you. Well, let's do it now real quick. Yeah. yeah Probably not a bad The week of the 4th. Mm -hmm. The week of the 4th, I personally am open the 5th, 6th, and 7th. I would prefer the 6th or the 7th. Or the 5th. Or the 5th. Yeah, 5th or the 7th. Seven. So it sounds like the seventh. Anyway, not do the seven. Right. And we're talking about the evening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we'll shoot for s the seventh at. Seven. For, for seven, seven or five thirty, we. We have a health and wellness meeting until five fifteen. So five thirty might be better or worse for you. Uh, at first, I, I can be whatever. I'm just. Okay. I can get there. Yeah. Well, how long do you on think? That how how, how long do you think? Because if you're doing six candidates, you don't want to be having a candidate at midnight. So no, well, we're not. No. We're not no. interviewing. Oh, this oh. is. I yeah. thought we we're on we're reviewing. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of meetings. No, we're on this. Oh, we're on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, All right, so why don't we say the seventh? Okay. At uh, seven p.m. Just. It's about an hour and a half. Two hours. Closed session. You said. Yes. Closed session. So do we want six? So we're we, going to review. Do we want to do six thirty? So I don't know yeah. what. That's fine with me. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Six thirty. So she yeah. said yes. Yeah. You guys good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Steve will be upset. You guys be down. That's what happens. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's it's tough one. Thursday. So March seventh, six thirty. Mm -hmm. At that time, we'll review the final profile. We're going to present the names of the candidates. We're going to go over the timeline. We're going to give you sample questions and let you use our selection process if you want. Otherwise, you can create your own. But we, we call it a workshop. 
case if it were in there. Mm -hmm. We're there at least an hour and a half, Two just nailing down, nailing all the pieces together so you walk out of everyone feels they know what they're doing. We'll give you all the information that you need. Perfect. So a good understanding of the candidates that you're going to be interviewing and then who's going to be asking what questions and all of that. Mm -hmm. So you're ready to go because like you said, on that day that you do interviews, yeah, you you're going to start and yeah. get going. So then, your first interviews. So the next entry on the list, week of February 25th, March 4th. Well, we're into March 4th. Already March 7th. So yeah. Yeah. We're March 7th. After March 7th. So so that cycle has to be changed now they Mark. Yeah. Well, it depends on how do you want to do your interviews. Do you want to do them on a Saturday? Saturday, um, Sunday? Do you want to do oh. evenings? Do you want to do Friday and <laughs> Saturday? <laughs> oh, okay. That's you know, we that's know. something. So that Saturdays are, uh, you, you can do things, things on, we can do it on Saturday. Saturday. Could we do interviews as early as March 9th? You mm -hmm. could. That's why I said if you want to do a Saturday. Mm -hmm. As difficult as it is to try to do everything all at once, it's it's just better because it's fresh your board in your mind. mind. Yeah, they, they, board did, boom, boom, boom. they did all of them on a Saturday, exactly that. But six candidates actually oh. interviewed mm -hmm. for how long? For how long each? An hour. They each. did an hour each, hour. so they did like 15 minutes in between, and mm -hmm. so it'd be a full day. Oh yeah. Is that day available? No. Yep. Can I? Yep. Your I, other options I, are you could yeah. take three and three, two nights the following yeah. week. Or you can yeah. do two nights. You can do Friday. You can do <coughs> anything that makes your calendar happy. That's true. I think the only thing to to try to steer clear of is is having some interviews and then having right. a little bit of time right. and then doing more the rest yeah. because yeah. It's it, not it, fair it's a, yeah, it really sure. isn't. <laughs> yeah, I mean there there's pros and cons here too. If you do six in one day, by the time you get to the sixth one, I'm true. telling you, you're not going to be anywhere true. near. Uh, yeah, I would divide it up and do a few. Just I wouldn't have one. If we Monday, did, yeah, Tuesday. I would. Yeah, if we did that, I would do like a Monday, Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. spread them apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's totally your call. If you got four candidates, I get doing it one night. But if you right. got six, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm just it's, it's yeah. Yeah. As efficient as it is, it's yeah. not fair to the hours. So I'm looking ahead at that week after, and we have a school board meeting on the Monday night. Which one? PTA meeting on the Tuesday. I I have a I can't not do the Wednesday. Because there's a concert that night. It's I mean, a District 58 so concert. It's a District 58 concert. I'm, I'm probably not the only one. Just from it's my own music. mental train perspective, I, I like the idea of the Saturday. I know it's a commitment, but mm -hmm. we are, we're also able to then space it out a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. The fact that we'll have like reviewed profiles on the seventh and have some really rich discussion about what we're what we're liking and not liking, we'll be able to immediately test those theories mm -hmm. through the first round of interviews within within two days. Um, March 9th is my first but I would no, prefer I to do three and take a break and then do the three in the afternoon. Or Friday night, Saturday morning. You, mean, do, you know, it's back to back. I've got a concept on March 8th. It's a district 99 <laughs> fire show. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up with Saturdays. I don't know. Friday and Saturdays. Well, John can't do it. John can't do it. So you're out on the 9th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then my I'm professional sure. development has to be done on the weekend. So that's my. I, it's already so scheduled. I can't get out of it now. Um, can you do? Can we interview on Sundays, or is that? Sure. Why not? Sure. I can't do the tenth anyway. Okay. Daylight saving time. Monday. Everyone will be late. You can go to the <laughs> next week. Monday. But we have board meetings and board different meeting meetings. Yeah. That yeah. The the yeah. The yeah. It doesn't open meeting. until the fourteenth. Mm. What happens? Is there any ability what now to step back one second and go, we were planning on doing that meeting on the 7th. Anyway, we can move that back to the 5th That's and do interviews on the 7th. Mm. But then Some. we can't do six on the 7th, so we do the other three. If we do three on the 7th, when are we going to do the, the other half of them? Because there's no way we can do six and be six. No, no, absolutely not. But like we could do half of them then and then you could do half the 7th, half the 14th. Oh, I don't want to pay. What about half of the 6th and half of the 7th? I can't do the 6th. Um, is there a point on Saturday? We're about the 16th, pushing to the next Saturday. Is everybody around then? 
I know, I know the following week is, is um, spring, the 23rd is the first day of spring break. Well, it's really just the right. Isn't it really Because somebody said they couldn't do the 8th. Is there somebody? They didn't think that they were going to be ready. Yet, oh, I can't do the 8th. You couldn't do the 8th. We have a so the, the week of the 24th feels like a gap week. Is that to consolidate feedback or what's that February? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we want to interview the candidates to narrow They have to do it. Our screening interviews, we, we usually interview mm-hmm. about 10 to 12 candidates before we bring you the top five. That would happen on the weekend. And we'll together. probably do that. Exactly. We have, to pull their, yeah, we have to put their paperwork, everything together to present to you so you'll have a profile individually that you can take a look at with all of their information as we present. Was the and that just takes time for us to get it back from our company. Was the fourth undoable for people? It is for me. I'm out of town. Okay. okay. So the fourth out, the fifth out. Are we keeping track of this? March 1st is not 16th. a possibility to be done by then. You're still doing screening interviews. Hmm. Is that correct? Uh, what's the what absolute the earliest minutes? you guys can do it? Right? I'm out March 1st. You're March 4th. 1st. I'm out of town. Never okay. Never mind. Mind. So we're back to the 7th and then after. And the 28th is probably definitely too early. Yeah. I'm out the 28th. You're at the 28th, okay. I need to do it. All right. We can um, do the 15th, 16th. I, I, I can't. Oh, you I can't. can't. Just have to I mean, literally, the only time on day I'm out is that night. I just can't. But other than that. Mm-hmm. And I you were, somebody was out the 10th, right? Was somebody a no on the 10th? I'm a no on the 10th. Mm-hmm. I could I, potentially, I, and we could I round also, back to it, I potentially uh, I could fix my age. John, could you do the evening of the ninth? <coughs> um, yeah, I probably could. To evening of the seventh and evening of the ninth? No, the I don't mean the eighth. I mean the eighth and the ninth evening. No, someone said they were. Yeah. I did. That's a possible juggle. It would be a hard one, but if I, the eighth. If I'm the only one holding it up. No, Can we do 6, 7, 9? Free on the ninth, John. Hmm? How early would you be free on the ninth? After 5. So we could get we could um, do three interviews for sure on the ninth in the evening. Okay. So, Doug, is your commitment all day on the 10th? Uh, not in the evening. So we could do the evening of the ninth and the evening of the 10th? Um, I take that back. I am um, <laughs> in between. I've got an afternoon potentially window. Like two to five. Or I'm a single parent that weekend. I just have my kid over to babysit. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to my house. And I don't have to check with other people. Say that I could probably swing something, yes. So we could potentially do In our March meeting? interview three the evening of the ninth and three the couple. Some window on the tenth. Right. Yes. Is everybody else? Does anyone else have a conflict at any point on the tenth? I have a conflict. Yes, have any from one to four is my daughter's birthday party. Okay. So I could do like six to nine on the tenth. It's possible. Oh, I just couldn't. I can't. Yeah, sure, I, yeah. I have to check with other people. Well, let's pick an alternate date for the. We'll do the ninth for at least some of the interview. About but can we about just for a second? Can we? Because re- if the ninth evening works, right? Yeah. We know the seventh evening works because we were going to do that for our. Does the s- what date doesn't was there another date in that week earlier on the fifth or the sixth that we could do our candidate review and then do the seventh and the ninth evenings? I mean, for the candidate review, I could be there like at eight thirty, but that is asking a lot of you guys. But I'm not available for eight that night. Here. On which day? I well, suggest we just do a doodle poll tomorrow. Because <laughs> we're going to be going. Everybody's got a conflict somewhere. Sorry, what was March fifth? I, I nothing mean, for me. Nothing for me. I just I prefer not to do the fifth. Oh, I, I mean, I, I it's just my I can find child care. I, I, I think my, I think Grandma can come. I can manage. So if we so could we do the candidate, the candidate the review on the fifth, fifth, and we could interview on the seventh and the, and the ninth, ninth in the evening. Sounds like Does that, that work? would work. Fifth, seventh, and ninth. Does that work for you to do the candidate yeah, review on the fifth? The fifth instead of the seventh. Just let me know when I need to be somewhere, and I'll be there. Fifth. They warned us to be the hardest part. Yeah. Well, I mean, it the deal is, is um, if you only if you have four, you don't have seven. If you have six, you do the seven. Same time. We don't know how many candidates. Six, right. If, we, if we're if done we with four, if we only have four candidates, then we have the one. Neck, we, we have a little yeah. bit more. The, the, the ninth is just a relief. Yeah. Yeah. 
We don't know no, that. But, we'll hold the, but if we hold the dates. The ninth, if we only needed yep. one of them, we'll figure that what, out. What time are we talking about the ninth, just out of curiosity? Whenever. What, does it doesn't matter. He said five o'clock. After five. After five. After five. Okay, so the evening of the night. Yeah. So let's hold five to nine that night. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then on the seventh. And when we get closer, I can confirm. Like the same. Six to nine. On the seventh. Six to nine thirty. Six to nine thirty on the seventh. Okay. Just to hold the times. And you said five to nine on the ninth. Five to nine on the ninth. And what about the fifth? Can we six to nine. Six thirty to eight thirty. Six thirty to eight thirty. Six thirty to eight thirty. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just I was going. And you guys can make those dates earlier on the fifth. So you'll see us on the fifth. <laughs> then you're on your own after that. Anyway. Right. You don't right. have to do that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 do whatever you want. I mean, to say, you know, whatever. on your own, buddy. But if you want, it's a couple of couple. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're All right. Yes, I am. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just she wants to take advantage of being right. nearby. <laughs> That's right. Instead of running all over the place. You can be on call. What were the times of the seven? Six to nine thirty. Well, that's on my And then the fifth. All right, so we're talking <laughs> March 5th You're send us a with yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, yes. 630. From 630 to ballpark 930. Who knows? 830. Oh, yeah. 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 We are efficient. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're not looking for dates that night. So right. that's... <laughs> That's the hard part. And then yes. three seven and three nine will be first round of interviews. And then you have to set your second round after you're done. Yeah, because then you'll it. know at that point right. whether you have two or three. Next week or, but probably that next week. So yes, I, I may suggest you want to pick two dates for the next interview yes. while you're at it now. while you're on a roll. Mm-hmm. I'm well, we, and we already know the 11th, 12th, and 13th is out. Mm-hmm. 11th, you I was just going to suggest, um, and I don't, I, I'm thinking the El Sierra PTA visit might be able to be rescheduled since um, they have monthly they PTA meetings. Yeah. We'll pick a different PTA meeting night, and then um, you might be able to capture the 12th. Is just going to be a suggestion if you're looking for. Okay, that'll well, I was going to El Sierra, so I'm open on the 12th. <laughs> and that opens me up to so maybe the 12th and the 14th. And how long? Well, I don't know this yet. Like, what are Monday meetings going to look like? <laughs> For March. Well, For March. I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> that we'll use the closed session if we need to to discuss the narrow candidates. Yeah. You know, or do you think we do that during the interviews when we? Because we're probably going to want to have them, if we're doing them on Tuesday, we're going to want to have that sort of already scheduled. Yeah, so you want them to know. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, the boards meet after the last interview. Right. Yeah. And so they have a small conversation. You'll know, trust hard. me. Right. I know so you said you five to know. nine, block off five to nine on the ninth. That's and why you have, have a uh, half hour, 45 minutes to discuss all six candidates, and you decide then. Or, you know. mm-hmm. Well, I think we need to block out mm-hmm. Tuesday the 12th. The t- three day. We might have three second interviews, correct? Uh, Just in case. Just in case. Mm-hmm. Would you but you don't necessarily have to do them all, all on a separate night. Mm-hmm. You could do a couple on the same mm-hmm. night. So typically, the final interviews go in a couple of different directions. You do on two different nights, and you have dinner with the final two candidates, one or three, one night, or three, three, three. Right. depends on you know how many restaurants you want to nice. around <laughs> town. So that would give you an opportunity to see them in a more casual, less formal, get to know them, still ask questions, still get a chance to see who they are, and, and, and have the opportunity to determine is this somebody I want to interact with for the next three, five years. So or longer. Or longer, <laughs> yes. So that that's the one question. Do you want to do those? Then you would have to have separate nights or multiple meals. <laughs> exactly. Like the same night. Don't think you want. <laughs> I think it's fair that the candidates would all be treated equally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. rather than 
have a one that didn't have that opportunity? The only, the only thing that you can find is your individual schedule. Mm -hmm. That's so would, would we be able to do just reserve the 12th, 14th, and 15th? Works for me. Yes. 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 I, I will make the 15th work. I have. If, if we need it. Maybe not. Right. So if, if we only have two, then we'll, we'll release we'll do 12, it. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, We're we're really almost done. Okay. So well, let, let me ask you, yes. are you going on to compensation? Are you we moving on to compensation? Yeah, I was gonna go back to the main list. Okay, let's go back to let's ask a question while we're on the interviews. Sure. Uh, what's appropriate for people besides the board to interview in a final interview, as far as administrators, uh, um, any union leadership, or teachers, or uh, board candidates? The final. And then the and final finals. round, right. Mm -hmm. Well, again, you go back to that initial decision because people people are going to ask if they know that at the end there's going to be three groups, four groups, five, they'll, they'll back up. I'll back up. I, I just know. I know a couple of people we've worked hard on. They will back up because they've asked specifically. So you have to weigh, yes, you want input. Yes, you want to give people an opportunity. It's a different time today. It's a little difficult. So some places, they've been able to do that and pull it off, and people actually sign agreements and they don't divulge the name. Other places, not true. And um, we can't tell. We don't know unless we talk to the candidate and say, are you okay if you are invited to the district for a day in the district interviewing with three different groups, so to speak. Or it goes back, like I, I think Sheila said it earlier, you know, when it comes down to the, maybe if you're the final two, they're a little more understanding that it, it's possible that it would get out know. there. And it is, I think Mark started to say, there's, there's different ways to go about it. You can go out, just go out to dinner, it's just the board, or you could, you know, there are other options if you wanted to involve groups of people. So that they could also be a part of it. But are you, you, you have involved your groups. Mm -hmm. You know, understand what I'm saying? We're, we're going to be out here for a full day and part of your evening. So everybody gets an opportunity to um, give their input. Um, selecting a superintendent is the most important job that you have as a school board. And you can't give that responsibility away. That is something that you have to stand on and live with and be and take responsibility for that decision after you've captured the information as much as you can from the community. So you, you've given everyone an opportunity to be part of the search and the selection. But when it comes to down to that last interview and who's making that decision, it's got to be you. It's got to be you. I don't disagree, and the the end result today gets you to a point where if you have a, a group and they sign, you put together a group of people from different aspects of your community, and you say, all right, we want you to have an opportunity to meet our final two candidates. It's still important that there is no voting at that time. It's important that there isn't, let's rank these candidates or any of that. What we do in those situations with our confidentiality agreement is we have a form, and on the form it says, 
What are your impressions of the candidate? What are your areas of concern? That's it. You collect those, and then you would review those. But you don't, she was right, you can't abdicate your responsibility you know, as board members. It's, it's totally yours. It just depends, do you want to bring that extra piece of input in? I know, I know you went through that in Wilmette, Gary, and you know, that's, that's yeah. one place, but we don't see it much. We really don't. And guaranteeing the anonymity of the candidate is our reputation is on the line, as well as yours as a board and a community. You don't want to be that board that let all the names out. And you know, be known like that. So we did it in Oak Park too, I believe. Yeah, high school, I think you were right at the high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's no right or wrong. Yeah, it's, not it's which way do you want to go? And just so right. I don't understand, are you saying that we have options further in the process, or you need to know that now so that you can tell your candidates what you want to do? We really need to know that. But it sounds like you have people that would actually back out. Yeah. Scared. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, and I, and I, I agree, you know, I, mm -hmm. I'm in the private sector, like, yes. you know, like John was talking about, and, and, and I get it. You know, I, I've seen that leak before, and then I've seen someone end up leaving a job yeah. that they didn't intend on leaving um, because they ended up, in yeah. someone in the interviewing room turned out to be someone else's brother in law. <laughs> and <laughs> no, it was a whole yeah. thing. So, right. and, 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 right. I, and I understand that, but because um, we, we talked about it at the beginning, how important it is to make sure that we get really, really strong candidates. Mm -hmm. So, um, that, that's concerning, you know, that's concerning mm -hmm. to me that it makes some of the candidates right. have connections, roots, ties right. to this district. Yes. Mm -hmm. That would go, you know, like wildfire. Right. So, it, again, it's not right or wrong, it's it's an approach. You know, it depends on the situation, it depends on the, on the community and the timing. We have seen most of our clients lately going with the confidential approach. Your district, they have one group. They had two, the administrators and, and a small, like one teacher from each building, each of the four buildings. So it was small. But to me then, the aspect by which we um, meet with the stakeholder groups just is going to be so critical to what we're doing here to make sure that mm -hmm. um, We've got, you know, we've got a lot of vocal people in the community, and this is really important. And um, we need to know, we need to know that we that, that those voices are, are loud and clear. I mean, that, that's something that's really, really important to us. While making sure I get the best candidates is is really, really important to me. So, um, how we best balance that? Well, I think you said a key thing is you have a lot of maybe vocal you know, people, and maybe, how would you decide which one <laughs> would be the well, ones in those yeah. final interviews? Maybe that's the way that you, you know, I, I don't want to not include anybody, I, I right. get that, but the it's hard. The only, and I'm just throwing it out there, um, is if for the first interviews, the first round, so that if there were certain people, whether it be the board candidates or union leadership that sat in on the first for and it's already, you know, there's no questions other than the ones that we have prepared. So, and there's no yeah. back and forth. I think that's what he said. Those people. So the first round is the first worst. Interview, that would no. be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Hope it that, was that was just my. That was my question. Okay. Yeah. There's a possibility for the if second, were, not the if first. If we were to go with the approach to invite in a few representatives to the final, final. interview, do you think we would lose candidates? I don't know. I don't know. But that decision could be made at that point, yeah. right? I mean, well, say he, that he's uh, saying that he has to tell people now because if they're right. Okay. I, I know, but, but you can get down to the point. We're going to keep, keep, it keep it confidential. And it's we'll, different when it we'll gets down to two to have a conversation yeah, with the yeah. two people. When you get down to two, you ask the two. If one of them wants. Here, let me ask you this. Then you don't have anybody to interview. Just because this topic is out there, do you have in the back of your mind a way to call all the interest into a certain number of people. You can't have dozens. You can't even have, I mean, you can't have more than a handful. I mean, yeah. Well, it's hard to exclude, to include right. some and exclude yeah, who, others. Who right, would right. you include or not include? And so that that's a decision you, you probably want to think about. We can do the adjustment later. 
and we can, you know, ask the candidates, and if they say, hey, if I, if I have to go through uh, additional groups, I'm out, and we'll say, hey, you know, people are pulling out. Or if they say, we're interested in this job, and we'll go all the way through, then it's, it's a moot point. So my suggestion would be, uh, based on the feedback, would be that we keep it closed until we get to the final two, and then we can have a conversation. Well, the board can have a little more conversation to see. Mm -hmm. we can, yeah. We'll have a little more time to think about it, because this is our first time discussing mm -hmm. it. Yes. Right. And then we can go to the final two, let's say it's two, three, whatever mm -hmm. it turns out to be, and see if there's an opening yeah, to work that out. That. And then you can come back to us and then we can get yeah. the, um, That's the letter quick to do. You know, put yeah. together because right. you're picking that short list based on mega day mm -hmm. and getting all that information. Mm -hmm. So if someone has something that important that they want to say, that's when they should say it. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we're down to the final two, those are two people we feel very comfortable mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't want to lose Correct. either one of the two. So right. my Correct. gut would be is that we would want them both to be open to that yes. idea, however mm -hmm. we can work. If yeah. we can work it out, we would try to work it out mm -hmm. with them. And that's why we pay you. So we would communicate that. Otherwise, we would not you know. I know one person that in particular right. who would absolutely not follow the state. Very concerned about it, knowing sure. people know very successful, it's just, but it has a tie to this district. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, people have these things like they taught here at one time, grew up in the community, parents live here. You name it. There are so many ways that people have ties to communities that manifest themselves into mm -hmm. wanting to work there. Well, I think you've heard from us that we don't want that to be spoiled. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We don't want to lose a candidate. Right. So, especially after going through dozens and dozens of resumes, mm -hmm. you narrow that down. Right. You found the best two. Mm -hmm. You right. wouldn't want to lose. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. It's a Wonderful. reality. It's not yeah. trying to dodge transparency. It's just a reality right. today that uh, with social media, your name is out. Right. <laughs> that it's all over the place. Social and we had, we we're all. You know, professionals here, yeah. and, un and certainly understand that, and wouldn't want that in our own personal situations. Right. Yes. If the shoe so we'll just wait until we get there. You know, yes. final two. We'll keep we'll it. We'll keep it in our back. pocket, and then we can pull that trigger when we need to. Right. Great. Great. Um, con uh, contact person for the district. <laughs> One, two, three. Anybody else? That we've worked with Carrie and Melissa and Doug and I have had multiple conversations. So, anybody else that you want us to, to maintain contact with? No, that's good. I think that's fine. Good. If you if you want to talk to anyone else, call we're, one of us fine. and we'll give we'll, we'll, we'll point you in the right it. direction. Yes. Fine. Yeah, we'll keep it small. You will for the survey, obviously, need to work with. Yes. Them, but yeah. that can we'll come to Melissa. Yes. Yeah. The last piece is the compensation range. But we don't make you commit to that and tell us, oh, we're, we're going to pay X number of dollars. But we tend to want, people will ask us. You know, they're going to ask us these two questions. What's the board like? So we're going to paint this. We're really going to look at you want a group picture that we can send out, put it on the website? It's already there. It's already there. <laughs> the second is, um, what, what is the compensation going to look like? What's the range that this compensation will be? So we don't need you to give it to us now, but we need you to have some idea so you can share with us so we don't waste people's time that their expectations are way out of line. And one of the things that we also could do is maybe do a survey of the surrounding school districts to get a feel as to what the, your neighbors are paying and what these superintendents. So you'll be in the range, the ballpark, yeah. you know, because comparable. they're checking. Right. Yeah. And comparable so districts. Can comparable you surrounding yeah. districts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sorry? Do you have that already? No. Okay. Oh, you do? No, we do not. Okay. We could no. use that. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I mean we'll relevant we'll ones. Obviously, a school district with two or three schools right. is different than one with 13 or Consolidated mm -hmm. and comparable. True, that's right. Don't give me valley views. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't give me neighbor Ouch. bills. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, they're, they're, they're very huge. different. They're, they're huge. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's talking uh, local and well. Right. Yeah. This is a some K comparable K to K what K we are. Yeah. And yeah. someone with a rather right. size. Yeah. 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 And if there is a difference, what that difference is, is it because they've been there for so long or. Yeah, and that'll be part of that. More that new or. Yep. Yeah. 
that would be that would be a part of the the uh, presentation. How many years? Like if they're brand new, and you know, or if they're on their way out, they're on a um, retirement contract. That the salaries look yeah. so different. So absolutely. Yeah, that that is a really good point because when you look them up and you go to a district's website, you you may see one thing, but not the whole story. Mm-hmm. And there are no real big studies anymore that compare apples to apples. We right. used to have them all over. No one's doing it because it's so easy to just go in and pull a contract. Mm-hmm. In most places. Some places still, in spite of the law, do not publish and post anything. And if they and do, they hide it. Yeah. Like they dive deep to try to find the information that's supposed to be right there. And but it's not glaring anymore. You have to call and you have to find it on the web page. I remember a high school we were looking at. Yeah, they they employed like a thousand teachers and they buried the superintendent's salary <laughs> in the body of all the salaries of every single employee. And I'm like, holy cow. So uh, people don't want that information. <laughs> they won't. It's like yeah. ways around it. Right. Okay. I think that's it. Anything that we missed with you guys? But, uh, when would you want that compensation range? We can get that in a couple of days. We'll get it to you in a few days. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry? You could also just review it on the day that you're reviewing the slate. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. We don't really need right. now yeah. other than people who call us and directly ask. And they do. Right. Sure. People do ask that question. Big time. They're really in, they're always interested in in a board's actual persona, you know, where it's their outward fighting at meetings, right. of, you know, people not talking to each other, just the real obvious stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you think that doesn't happen, you have another guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've seen that. <laughs> at least you guys look like you like each other. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and. Typical. <laughs> we're, we're your they tolerate me. now, so <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck. <laughs> you're stuck with us. Do you have some additional questions? I, our questions are good. Anything else that we can help you with? I'm good. No. So I have questions for, for you right now or yeah. the first round interview questions? No. Uh, yeah. no. No. For us, yeah. That, and, and again, think up whatever you want. We, again, we have about 10 pages worth of questions broken down by category. Mm-hmm. Most of our districts like our questions. They'll pick and choose. Of course, you're only going to ask one or two per person. Yeah. So um, plenty of opportunity there. Yeah. But there might be specialty areas that you have an interest in. So oh, I'd like to take the one in curriculum. I'd like to take the one in human resources. Things like that. So um, we'll, we'll be glad to share that with you. Mm-hmm. Great. We'll make it easy. Be here on the dates. We'll do all the rest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we move to adjourn? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Did you forget? You forgot about the results. That's your job, Doug. That's right. That's your job. Okay. We will move on to the reception of visitors. This is an opportunity for members of the audience to share comments with the board subject to reasonable constraints, but is not intended to be a time for members of the public to enter into a dialogue with the board. Issues raised during public participation may be added to future agendas or addressed by administrative staff as appropriate. Criticism of individuals is not in order. Uh, in accordance with board policies 8022 and 1150, individuals appearing before the board are expected to follow these guidelines. One, any person addressing the board shall identify yourself, state your school attendance area, and shall speak as briefly as possible. Two, the board president has the authority to determine procedural matters regarding public participation, uh, not otherwise in board policy, including limitations, time limitations when appropriate. And three, the board president is responsible for the orderly conduct of the meeting and shall rule on such matters as the time to be allowed for public discussion and the appropriateness of remarks uh, to the subject under consideration. At this time, is in, if anyone is interested to speak, please stand, state your name, and attendance area. Um, my name is Kylie Spahn. Um, I have a question. Um, and I'm not sure if this is the right appropriate um, way to an- ask it, but Mr. Friedman just said that candidates are interested in the board's actual persona. There are four positions that are up for election in April and April 2nd, and there are four candidates here today. There's a good chance that the majority could flip on the other side. 
Will that impact candidates? Um, will they will they be discouraged from um, committing, knowing that the board could flip, knowing that they could be four new people that they haven't been part of the process with the interviews or the final interviews? Um, how likely are potential candidates to just say no? We it's too too risky taking on a new board. Um, what if that new board has a different vision of where they want to take the, the district, um, is that going to impact um, potential candidates? I'm sorry, I'm surviving on very mm-hmm. cool sleep after jet lag, but um, that's just my thoughts at the moment. I'm not sure how to answer that. Okay, um, thank you. Um, I'll let you address it briefly, if you like. Real quick. quick. Should it should not. It, this is just my opinion. I don't know if you would. Yeah, no. Yeah, it, it, it really shouldn't. They're committing now. Right. If it were down the line yeah. after the election, yeah. it might be something that they might think, oh, it's not all over again. But right now, no one has asked us. Oh, yeah. And I think anybody who's. And there's lots of districts that are in searches right now. Mm-hmm. They all face this. I mean, even yeah. city superintendents yeah, every are facing this. Yeah. There's an election every two years. Yeah. Right. It's a possibility every two years. Yeah. It can happen. Yeah. And the, the and everyone's aware. Yeah. They are aware that what. it's election time. So yeah. they are flying for the job. They know that there may, there's an opportunity or chance for some more turnover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, probably you could have used a better word the culture of the board <laughs> might be more appropriate. And when there's a culture of respect and relationships, right. that's what people see. Right. And that culture sometimes transcends the people. It's just there, and if new people come on, they fit into the culture. Mm-hmm. A little more like that. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Sorry for putting you on the spot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Hey, you've been on the spot. Chris Hanley, uh, offer kind of along the same lines as Kylie mentioned. You mentioned that the responsibility of selecting a superintendent is the board's ultimate responsibility, or ultimate, one of the most important responsibilities. You know, as, as Kylie stated, this board could look completely different in a short amount of time. I understand the confidentiality aspects about getting the best candidates and not having their names out there, but I would encourage the board to take whatever steps are necessary, whether it be confidentiality agreements, mm-hmm. to have the incoming board candidates and also members of the administration participate in that final review. I think that's a good way to establish a working relationship mm-hmm. with a constituency that may turn over and may change. Thank you. Tracy Miner, Buffer. Kind of dovetailing on uh, what Chris said, I know that um, I totally respect the confidentiality of the candidates. Um, my husband works for a tech firm. It's a big deal with the recruitment stuff. But um, I'm looking at the timeline, and one of the things that strikes me, it seems a little fast. And not, not, I'm not saying to delay the, to delay it, but to really take the time in one night to look and review all of the. Um, applications. For instance, in my building, there's interviews for a principal and teachers. Uh, I think I think there's teachers involved with it, and parents and um, central administration are part of the interview for the final candidate. And that's just for a building principal, not even like as big a deal as what the superintendent is. So I don't know. I'm not even suggesting as a fourth candidate me, but I would be very. Um, I would be very hopeful that the cabinet, meaning the assistant superintendent, and maybe Craig be part of the interview process because they are actually the ones that are going to be working with this person and potentially working with them for three to five years that of a contract. So I I think that not that I don't respect that all that you, but I just feel like there's personality and stuff that you can't really read about on paper and get. And I think that that makes a huge difference for culture and moving forward for everybody. And it could be a shot in the arm for everybody in the district to feel like those voices were heard. So not not even talking about myself, but just the cabinet that works directly with that person. It seems like 
maybe that would be something you talked about, but that should be part of the conversation for the final two, at least. And I'm saying thank you very much, though, for talking about the board candidates being involved in one of the focus groups. That's great. And also saying right now, mad props to you guys for going through all those applications or the six and trying to figure it out in one evening. That seems very, very brief for something. Um, so that's a lot of studying and reading on your part to, to decide. They do all the 30 yeah. plus. Yeah. We only do six. That's why we pay them over $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to pay you. That's why we have six. Are you proposing that they yeah. get salaries now? No, no, no. <laughs> that's I'm not illegal. looking for 30 plus. I'm getting <laughs> no, I'm just saying that that's a very tall order for you guys to have to read and decide a decision to narrow down the two or three for somebody that we're going to have for three to five years. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ellen Young, uh, Bruce Downer. Um, just a question about the timeline from the stakeholders meeting till when you would do the screening interviews for the 10 to 12 applicants. The stakeholders meetings are supposed to take place on February 20th. Um, according to this thing, late February, you're going to conduct screening interviews with 10 to 12 applicants. So. How long until you compile? How long does it take you to compile all the information that you gathered from all of those various meetings and the survey and everything to say, okay, here's what the people are asking for, here's what the people are looking for, here's what they want, and then to conduct those interviews with the 10 to 12 people? That seems like you're kind of all doing that at the same time. And how can you conduct the interviews with the 10 to 12 people before you really know what the community is looking for? So I'm just curious how the timeline, how that all works, and. Um, you know, in terms of, especially when we're talking about um, potentially not being able to include any of those stakeholders in any of the interview process, that feedback would be extremely important. And some of you have mentioned how important you feel that all is, and I appreciate that. So I think that information from the stakeholders meetings, from the surveys, is going to be hugely important for you going into the process of saying, okay, here's the 10 to 12 we're looking at, here's the six, here's the two making sure that that is all included in that whole process and not just after the fact that you already say, here's the 12, but now we have all this additional information. What if none of the 12 fit what the stakeholders are saying they want? Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm just curious how that timeline works. Yeah. Okay, so for, no, for sure the, the our interviews of the candidates comes after the February 20th. Right. Okay. I'm like you're reserving the whole week of the 24th for interviews, which means you have at least four to five days. Yeah, we can turn it around pretty quickly. Not only that, we will send you the survey results ahead of time. Those, again, are compiled by a third party as soon as she pulls all that together. We'll send that out to you. You'll have those in your hand. Okay. Yeah, that'll be helpful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Yes, they will be. To the, to, to, to the community or just to the board? Here's what, Trace, here's what we do. You, um, we work with your communication person. Once you have the results, we ask the communication person to post it on your website mm -hmm. for everyone. So nothing to hide. This is very open, and this gives everybody a sense of what all these input. The key for all of you is get everyone to do the survey. Fill it out. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Don't talk about it. Do it. <laughs> right. Thank you. you know, let's get some numbers here. We'll, we'll get the get word some, out. Yeah, right. exactly. Thank and you. We've, we've had some eight, nine hundred responses. Park Ridge, um, Arlington Heights, and Park Ridge were neck and neck. They were doing <laughs> searches at the same time, and they were actually competing to see who could get more survey respondents. Mm -hmm. Arlington Heights won. So a little bit bigger, but this is it's a good healthy thing because the more input we get, the more legitimate the responses are. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, just sure. really quick, uh, Craig Young, I'm the teaching union president, the DGPBA, um, and I just wanted to speak a little bit about sort of the culture currently in our district, staff members, and sort of community members. I think um, the superintendent role right now has been pretty divisive for us, you know, kind of people on, on either side. Um, and so I really feel like this is a huge opportunity for us to bring the community and, and the staff really together around one person. So I'm hoping that we can really seize that opportunity. And I, I've heard a lot of things that I think will 
will help that, you know, getting all the input that you guys are, are already talking about, the focus groups. I do think that um, getting some uh, additional people involved in those later round interviews will be valuable. Um, not, not only in finding that best candidate, but also in getting the community to really be on board. You know, if, if staff, for example, know that there's been that union involvement and, and have met these two people and have had a chance to provide input, I think that really will help to uh, encourage people to support the, that selection, um, which of course is, is the board's responsibility. Uh, and, and I don't think that there's anyone in the community who wants to take that away from the board, <laughs> but to give that opportunity to provide input, uh, I think would be a really valuable thing. Um, the other thing I'll, I'll just throw in here is, um, I think having this, this board and, and the community be the, the real input providers, um, and you know, kind of leaving our current superintendent's uh, input sort of on the side of that, only because you know, that role will be filled by a different person. Um, as we move forward. And so we want to make sure that those that will be here are the ones that are being able to provide that input. Um, and I know, you know, there's a lot of that. helpful, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, most of it's helpful <laughs> information, <laughs> and calendar checking and things, and I get that 100%. Uh, but, and that, again, it's really, it's more like, what will the eyes of the community and the eyes of the staff see in the different ways of involvement? I, I just want everybody to be able to say, yeah, this was all on the up and up, and we can't wait to get behind uh, the new candidate. Um, if, if we do find the right one, and if, if throughout this process, if that doesn't happen, that's okay too, and we can sort of reboot uh, uh, after that starting next year. So, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, thank you. Uh, so we can entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Mm, wow. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. We will adjourn at 8.34 p.m. I'm surprised. Oh, my agent. Two and a half minutes